on some, board today. So can someone say anything? But that was actually really like somewhat anxiety inducing. Like I couldn't hear anything. I'm like, where the fuck did you go? Like we see a number of clients uh, on the NDIS uh, and one in particular uh, is blind. And I wanted to get a good understanding of what, uh, what it's like um, because sometimes uh, I expect it to be a little bit challenging to navigate around our facility and just around uh, the community in general. So for me to get a, a really solid understanding of what it feels like, at least for a short time, uh, I've decided to blindfold myself uh, and attempt to do an exercise session. Uh, now I do know the layout of the, of the facility, but at the moment I don't really know where I'm, where I'm starting from, so it's a bit of a challenge and hopefully I work my way around. Uh, so I'm going into this having seen the facility before, so it should make it somewhat easier for me uh, to at least start. But I will say, the, the moment that I put it on and I'm not really able to take it off and I can't open my eyes because of the rubber, uh, the rubberized pressure, it is a little bit anxiety inducing. So. Is the sled, so the sled is just coming up on your left hand side there. Put your left hand out. You're going to touch the handle of the sled. There we go. Push it over. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. Okay, so there's no weight on the sled for today. We're going to push straight forward. We're going to go for about 10 to 15 metres. So I'm going to give you a notice when you get to the end or close to the end so that you know where to stop. Okay, so pushing straight forward. Uh, Okay, so we're going to pull up there. Uh, you could come to the complete opposite other side of the track there. So I'm glad I'm not on the road when you're on the road when you're driving. Well, <laughs> probably won't be driving. So um, am I on the right hand side of the seat where the machines are over here? Yes. You're, yes okay, you're right so right did I start on the other side? You did. Forward, straight forward, straight forward, straight forward, straight forward. Oh, sorry, there's a bench there. <laughs> Just come to the side. <laughs> I don't even know if you're stitching me up or not. <laughs> you are. That's your left hand side rig. That's your right hand side rig. Am okay. I facing towards the wall or away from the wall? Away from the wall. So we walk through the rig? We walk through the rig, yes. Need the bar to get the other side. That's it. Okay. 20 bar? Yep, 20 bar. I'm not going to hear anything if I no, stop now. No, you're good. Nah, they feel heavier. They feel heavier. Really? Hey? They're heavier? No. They are 10 kilos. Okay. Where, without being able to look at the weight, it does feel heavier. That. That's not your evidence there. That's not 15. Nah, it's like 20. I reckon it's 20. Machine is in front of you now. Uh, I think because I know what the machine does, and this one's probably a bit easier to me to navigate. But if I hadn't ever done this before or had never visualised it, I'd probably be a bit put off by the fact that the seat moves to access whatever's underneath. Not much. How much does it feel like is on there? Maybe another ten. How much total? Another thirty. Probably maybe 25. There's 20 kilos on there. Rings down, stay there, don't move. Okay, so 
we are going to turn slightly to the left. All right, we're going to walk forward. So you're about a meter away from the rings. Okay, that's one, and that's two. All right. Remember that you've got the rig next to you on the right-hand side. Come up a little bit further forward, further forward. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm right behind you. Takes you full. That was really disconcerting. Just <laughs> leaning, leaning back. I've just got the farmers carry frames out. Ooh, there are. Yeah, and then we'll go over there. Yeah. So we're not on the green yet. What's green? Uh, that's a good question. You've got no idea what colours there are. I do not. Okay. Not. Okay. All right. So in front of you are um, two frames on either side of you. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk forward a couple of steps, and this is positioning you in between the weights. Yeah, now, you can probably feel them with your feet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is about the centre of the farmer's carry frame. So you're going to squat down, find the handles. That's it. I feel like the time's not going to go very well, then, so <laughs> I would really love your assistance on this. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And I apologise for I whack anyone. Just <laughs> okay, that's it. So, good, doing well. You're straight, you're on track. Are you coming a little bit to the left? We're going to go a little bit more to the right. This way. Wow, that's a lot this way. To the right. There we go. That's a lot more to the right than I thought I was going to be today. Back over there. There we go. Yep, okay, we're about two meters from the end. Keep coming. Okay, so we're going to place them down. So squat down, place them down. Perfect. Okay, I feel like there's a bike on there, so The uh, platform, that's it. Perfect. Okay, reaching forward. Go. Alright. How's that feel? It's alright. Uh, I feel like when I'm on this one, it's not too much to go wrong. I've done it before. We are back in reception. So uh, where's the chairs and stuff? Straight forward. Cool. So to your left ish right. is the toilets and reception. Yeah, all the time. Actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought you're sure you're gonna somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> so how was that? That was really disconcerting and I was highly anxious most of the time. Uh, I knew my way around, or I thought I knew my way around the gym, but the direction that I was facing, I was probably about 20 or 30 degrees off one direction. So I just had no idea, or I thought something was gonna be closer, and I was sort of feeling around for it, but then I was off. And that was still knowing what things look like, what the feeling of things are. So some things I found quite easy once I sat down at like the lap pull down, because I knew where things were regardless. But if I had never seen that, I would have been sort of concerned by the by the chair, by what I do with the handle. Do I just let it go? Um, I'm not sure what to, what to, things I found the most difficult was just when I was around the rig and positioning myself there. I thought I was I didn't actually know which side I was on. By the time I'd been turned around a couple of times, I um I was a little bit a little bit off, and I thought that I was yeah two meters to the left or the right. Um, I mean, especially with the farmers carry and sleds, so I'm sure it caught it on video, I thought that I was going straight with that, but pretty sure I ended up with what was the tile on one side where it started on the other. Um, and I was very hyper aware of the instructions, so it probably gave me a lot of feedback around my instructions. Um, Which instructions were the easiest for you to then put into practice? Just giving me the stuff. So. The things that I'd learned um, in dealing with uh, specifically one of our blind, blind clients is less description of what it, you know, what you know, the colours or things like that is just giving it to them and say this is what it feels like and it's attached here and 
that to achieve the, the exercise, that's probably what they need to know at that time. And then you can maybe get them to feel it uh, a little bit more um, along, along the way to do more sets. But sometimes just walking along, like if I was walking along here, like walk along, okay, there's a little, little bit of a drop down. Like, and so rather than colors or different surface types, it's not gonna matter a whole lot. So take away a lot of the descriptive terms and just uh, navigate around safely. And when I was being, uh, I guess, navigated around, I found that I wasn't really sure I wanted to, I felt like I wanted someone to grab my hand and say, there, put it there. Like I just felt like I was feeling around for things and sit down, like physically move me into position a lot more. And that's something that I've like learnt up, I learnt uh, along the way as well is providing a little bit more physical um, physical direction or movement to to the person to then assist them to get into position because they don't know. So to say, to turn 180 degrees or turn it, they're not aware. So, um, and I've probably learned that over like six to six, nine months of dealing with that. So I could come now, what Amanda was doing was probably where I was maybe in the first session that I had to, um, change how I did things because you've done something for so long um, along the way but then you've just got to say well they have never experienced what the descriptions they don't know what surface and does it matter is it safe for them sometimes some of it it does matter because they would like to know how it maneuvers but what level of description and how descriptive is appropriate and necessary and also do they want and need so mm. um, but I was hyper aware of the instructions and a lot of them not some of them being very suitable and others not. Mm. So, what Amanda, you, what did you find the hardest when you were taking Aaron through the exercises? Uh, not helping him. So I went from where I would normally help somebody by describing something to them in a session and getting them to then do what I've asked them to do to the complete opposite where Aaron needed me to physically put his hand on something where I would, I would normally not do that with, mm -hmm. with any of our other clients. It's for them to go and get their weight and put it onto the machine themselves or to grab something themselves. We want to, I guess, force that independence. But with this type of thing, you can't do that. They don't have that independence. We need to provide that for them. So um, that was really interesting that you know, he wanted me to physically put his hand on something. But to me, that felt like I was doing too much for him. So that's really interesting to me. But I think the other thing was I was over describing things. Yeah. With, like the green and the black. He can't see green and black. So that's got nothing to do with anything. So that was, I was that's normally what I would describe things as. So I think just finding a different language is um, is really interesting. Now, I haven't had the privilege to work with our, our client who is blind. So uh, this is the first time that I've ever had to, to deal with any of that. So. I found that really, really interesting, and it's very, I guess, um, intriguing of how to find the best way of communicating. So, cool. yeah, it was and interesting. I know sometimes we were side by side, it felt like we were side by side, I think yeah. we were. Yeah. Um, I wanted to just, be, I guess, pull along um, and direct, and I just, like, you physically grab me and, like, navigate mm -hmm. me a little bit more directly. Yeah. So I felt like I wanted that, but you know, we're not used to, you know, <laughs> Physically saying turn and turn. Well, that's it. I, I would never, as a as a um, as a trainer, I would never come in front of you mm. and 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 pull you this way. Yeah. I would always come beside you as yeah. Just I guess that relationship as a client yeah. professional. It's you how we taught. Don't come in front of somebody that's yeah. in their space. So that's really quite interesting. That mm. that's a, a better option, and you feel more comfortable being pulled from from the front. Yeah, it was just to get me to where I needed to yeah. go. And yeah, there were times where I wasn't sure. I felt like I was shuffling a lot because I just wasn't sure. Like I didn't feel confident to take normal so what I would take in as far as normal steps. It's like if I kick something, at least I'm not going to fall over. So to feel confident to not you know, kick something or trip over something was a little bit of a challenge uh, for me. Um, and yeah, and sometimes like if I'm sitting down, okay, just have a seat there, pop your leg over here and yeah, I guess provide that uh, physical, uh, sa safe and suitable physical assistance, yeah. I guess. So you do want to provide a level of assistance that is appropriate and suitable, but also not too much. So finding that balance of, yeah. uh, I guess, physical assistance that's appropriate um, 
for for you and the client in that relationship, um, but also enough that uh, achieves the right purpose. Yeah. Cool. Right. Really interesting. Thank you. Interesting. Thanks.